What's going on, people? This is Jeremiah. You're watching the Visitor Jeremiah channel, and today I have my first ever Autodesk Maya tutorial for you. And uh, I'm not going to start off <clears throat> by doing any type of uh, modeling, character modeling, constraints, waiting, and stuff like that. If you've been following my channel and my tutorials and videos and stuff like that, um, you will see that I've been working with Maxon uh, a Cinema 4D, and uh, I've been uh, contemplating about making a decision to switch over to Autodesk Maya and I finally did about like a month ago and I've been taking like an online training course for that particular type of 3D package for about like a week and a half now and they taught me how to you know basically do all the things as far as modeling and stuff like that within uh, Autodesk Maya that I already knew how to do within Cinema 4D so I just kind of carry those you know techniques and traits over from that but <clears throat> I kind of jumped the gun a little bit and, and, and wanted to learn about the dynamics and the fluids and all that extra cool stuff and the paints and the you know all the that's my just have a whole lot of tools and assets that I'm just liking I'm just loving it right now this is great but today we're gonna do like an in cloth destruction type of effect um, I'm gonna show you like the basis of it and how to like set it up and you can apply it to whatever you want from there <clears throat> so let's go ahead and jump right into it I'm going to turn my grid back on um, get the plane and press R. I'm going to scale this up uniformly, and if yours is uh, popping up, like <clears throat> if yours is popping up as if you got a, let me go back some of my polygons. If yours is doing this, not bad. If yours is doing that, that's because you got that interactive thing on. You want to go to create and take that off. Let me go ahead and just do that. <clears throat> Scale the up uniformly. Press 5. And, um, let me get out of here right fast. Go back to that. Go to my edit mesh. <coughs> Excuse me. And, uh, go to my cut faces too. And start cutting away. And wherever you cut at is basically where you wanted to shatter at. No problem. Alright. I gotta cut up a little bit. I'm gonna right click, go to my edges. I'm going to select all edges, then go to mesh, triangle it, I'm going to deselect that, go to my edges again, select all edges, go to edit mesh, de detach component, <coughs> alright, now I'm going to add in an, uh, an object to basically shatter my uh, plane, I'm going to get a little sphere, I'm going to bring it down, and I'm going to animate this a little bit. Not that. Just a sphere. It's no problem. Go to my outliner. Bring that up. <clears throat> All right. I'm gonna bring this down a little bit. I'm gonna go to my translate Y. That's what I'm affecting. Key selected. Go a little bit forward inside the timeline. Bring this up. Right click. Key selected. Next, what I want to do. Uh, Click my plane, make sure that I'm in object mode. Go to my uh, in dynamic module. Uh, go to my in mesh, create in cloth. All right. Get my selection tool again. Select my sphere. Go to in mesh. Create passive collider body. All right. Now, when we press play, your cloth, I'm going to turn off my grid now. When you press play, your cloth should be falling. And that's fine. And that's because of the simple fact that the attributes is uh, defaulted that comes with the in cloth that you created. We can go ahead and fix that. Um, go ahead and select that. Yeah, playing your cloth now. Go to your attribute editor. And uh, you want to go over here to your nucleus. It should be over here, like in the corner part about it. And um, I like to set. Uh, there's a little ground plane option. Use ground plane so you can see your little nucleus a little bit more than what it is. But your nucleus is going to be like the, at the center of your object. <coughs> and what you want to do is go back over here to this gravity and wind. And it's all about messing around with the attributes now to get the type of look that you're looking for. So if you didn't want it to move, just crank down the gravity to zero. Um, we, and if you press play, it shouldn't move. You should just see... You know that happened the way it is right there. All right, <clears throat> and you can also 
uh, and do some more um, critiquing with your plane. As you can see now that our pieces is kind of wafer thin, like they're just thin pieces. You can refresh that by going way back to the animation. And you see these little icons up here. You can either go back to your polygon uh, module, and go to edit mesh, and then go to, um, where is it? It's screwed. Or you can click up, you know, you can just kind of hover above these icons underneath these different tabs. It's like a short, you know, it's like a shortcut way. Uh, you can screw your pieces in in a direction that you want them to be like thick. I'm gonna go ahead and screw it up inside the um, the Z axis there. That's what it looks like. Yeah, the Z axis. And then I'm gonna deselect that, get off of it. And if I press play now, when my pieces break, it'll be pretty cool. And you can see even before the sphere hits it that it's pieces in it you see that it's like pieces and all that stuff is like coming up that's because still underneath my attribute uh, settings if this thing is stop underneath my attribute settings <laughs> if I click that and go back to my nucleus and underneath my uh, gravity and wind you can see that um, my my gravity uh, direction it's uh, set over here inside the Y and uh, you can tell that by these little icons here you know the green stands for Y red stands for X Z stands for blue that's pretty cool and it's the same thing when you basically working with this you got the X you got the Y you got the Z and uh, if, I ch if I change this down to zero and then press play, play pretty cool well there you have it um, simple tutorial how to set that up add in some type of dynamics and hopefully get some type of basic uh, shatter effect going on within Autodesk Maya I am Jeremiah and I hope this up I hope this video had helped you a lot a lot and uh, if you if it did just go ahead just go ahead hit the like button subscribe and um go at it from there thank you